We've got the little heart box. Just being careful not to damage the lid. What I'm going to do with this one, I thought being as it's heart shaped, we'll paint this red. And then maybe when the red is dried, I might put some little white dots on the surface. So separate the two parts. I'm going to paint the wall of the pot, but not the bottom. So brush in the red paint and start to apply. Again, patience. Just applying the red. I don't want to get the red on the bottom or on the top at the moment, just in case I want to try the lid fitting. And of course, if you bring two pieces of pottery together and the paint is still wet, they'll stick. So we'll keep the two parts separate while the paint is drying. You can be a little bit more vigorous with this. If you wanted to paint the whole thing red, what you would have to do is paint one portion, allow that to dry, and then you could hold the pot by the dry section and fill the rest in. If you paint it all at the same time, there's nowhere to hold the pot and uh, you'll smudge the paint and also end up with paint all over your fingers. As you can see, it goes on really smoothly and the intensity of the colour is really good and covers quite easily. So one coat would be quite sufficient for this. I can feel that the paint is drying already, slightly tacky. Just go back, if you think you've missed a little spot, go back to it. You can do two coats if you wish. But you must remember, two coats have got to be completely dry between coats. That's the bottom half of the pot done. Little heart. Now we're going to paint the lid. And again, I'm just going to be painting the outside. I'm just holding the pot while I paint the edges so that I can rotate the lid while I paint it. And then once I've painted this, I can put the lid down on the whirler like so and now I can infill the top
once you've got the coverage then you can use the brush to even out the brush strokes most of these brush strokes will disappear as the glaze, as the colour settles down I'm now thinking that it would perhaps be preferable to have this top edge red. So I'm just going to paint the top edge. If you decided that you wanted a colour inside, it would be best to paint the inside first, allow that to dry, and then paint the outside. I'm just going to leave the inside of this, the natural clay colour. A little box like this, you could then line the inside with material, satin, silk, whatever, it could be padded, and make a lovely little Christmas present for somebody, perhaps with a piece of jewellery inside. I think the painting of the top edge was a good decision. Just finishes it off. But you must be absolutely sure that the paint is dry before you put the lid on. Otherwise the lid will stick. If you're gonna pick it up, pick it up from inside And again, very carefully with the lid. You can see that the paint is beginning to dry straight away. Probably take about an hour for the paint to dry completely. And as I say, then you could come back and add detail to the surface of that. But be absolutely sure that the paint is dry before you apply a second coat or any detail.